Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. <clears throat> thank you, Charles, for having her on uh, on this show. Uh, first of all, let me explain. You know that um, every retail outlet is very, very willing to obey what the established laws and what the current realities are. Now, there are a few things you need to understand. When retail outlets buy the one tank of product, for instance, it's bought at a certain price and there are costs associated with it and projections made which will ensure that there's a rollover of that investment. Now, in this case, as it is today, uh, most of our members who have sufficient products across the country did not change their prices. But of course, those who, who don't have enough products will just readily try to get the technicians to change the price. Because don't forget that it's not the retail outlet owner uh, who has the expertise to change the prices. So it must always depend on some technical expertise mm -hmm. to do that. So the reason is simple. The man don't have any product. He has a little product. He's going to cough up additional uh, uh, 20, 22 naira in a litre. So where is he going to get that from? He will try as much as he can to see what he can mop up to go back to NMPC to buy the product. So that is the reason. It is not because uh, the retail outlet owner is not... Uh, sufficiently um, empathic, it is because of the realities of the economic, you know, um, you know, circumstances. So that's why these changes can occur effectively. But as, as I speak to you today, as of yesterday, most of our members across the, across the country that have up to 15,000 liters storage in their, in their uh, retail outlet did not change their prices. So I can say that on very solid story.